Hey YouTube, Wizman here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this lever password lock door. Um, it's really easy, and all you have to do is press the combination, so 1, 2, 5, and 6, and the door will open. You can run through it, you can do whatever you want, but if you want to close it, all you have to do is hit this button right here, then go inside real quick, and then it'll close. So yeah, uh, now we'll get into the tutorial. Alright guys, we're back for the tutorial, and to get started, you're going to want things in my hotbar. So lever, iron door, redstone, redstone torch, any kind of block you want. I'm going to be using cyan stained clay, a pressure plate, and some grass. You don't really need it, I just like to. But a uh, quick thing, um, this can be as big or small as you want it, so it can be infinitely across the world, or it can just be like four blocks. So for this video, we're going to be doing five. So anyways, to get started, you just want to um, go however long you want it to be. So ours is going to be five, and you want to make it to be two blocks tall. Oops, and the door is going to be on the right side. So, anyways, to get started, I already said that, but who cares? <laughs> you want to get these levers across the top row, and then choose what you want your combination to be. So, to open the door, I want it to be the second one down, and the second to last one down. And so, now we can come back here and program it. So, this one's down. And when you want the lever to be down, put a redstone torch with redstone on the ground beneath it. And this one here, too, same thing. So, down is redstone torch with redstone under and up is a block with redstone on top with no torch so you just want to connect them all like this and like I said earlier the door is going to be on the right side so actually right here you just want to make the redstone go down there uh, you don't need the block for the last one and right here you want to put a redstone torch you want to break these two blocks and then you want to put two redstone right here and then a door goes right here now you can input your combination and then it'll open. Um, if it doesn't work like the first time, that's because you have to reset it. So that's why I closed it and opened it up again. So yeah, so let's just say, oh, for instance, we just came from a hard day at work and we want to get into our house. We put down this one and this one and the door opens so we can go through. Anyways, that's the basic tutorial. And if you want to just like customize a little bit and just make it look better, you can do that. Um, so let's just make it about three tall. Uh, let's put one right here cover up this redstone and what I like to do is make like a little hallway so you don't like run into the redstone so that's that you can have it hollow or you can have it uh, open doesn't really matter you can do whatever you want once you finish the redstone but yeah so let's just cover all this up uh, that'll be open let's get some roofing and then oh I almost forgot on the inside you want to have a pressure plate so that way you can open the door after you leave so that's that's good right there and that's just it works by itself and so here you can just cover up the redstone by putting this here don't do not put a block on top of the redstone torch don't do that it'll mess the whole thing up so you can just leave that alone and then you can put these blocks right here and there you are so now everything should be working fine and to just give it one final test let's open it doors are open we go nice uh, we can close the door oh nope it didn't do it right all right let's Ah, alright, there we go, we closed it. Anyways, you can do whatever you want with that, and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.